Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. My name is Courtney and my twin sister Ashley and I share this YouTube channel together. So if you haven't noticed, today's video for you guys is a deep clean of my kitchen. Now I'm not going to be moving my stove or moving my refrigerator, but I am going to be moving all of the stuff on my countertop to wipe underneath and behind. So that means the walls as well above my countertop. I'm also going to be hitting my baseboards, my heat Ba he's <laughs> heat baseboards and moving my exposed shelving for my pantry the stove wiping down the uh table and all of that jazz so i will stop chit chatting for now and i will pop in and out when needed let's get into deep cleaning this kitchen Perfume. If my heart was yours to win, you don't deserve it, boy. You lose. We're in the jungle, and while we're out here, you are playing by my rules. Cause everyone knows, fighting me is a battle you don't want to. Perfume. If my heart was yours to win, you don't deserve it, boy. You lose. We're in the jungle, and while we're out here, you are playing by my rules. Cause everyone knows fighting me is a battle you don't want. That song, every time I play it, gets me jamming out. I don't know about you guys, but it just gets me going, if you know what I mean. I'm dancing while I'm talking to you guys, just so you know. But anyways, I just want to explain what I used on my stovetop. So I went in with my Wyman's uh, stovetop glass cleaner. Uh, if you go to Walmart and maybe other stores like Walmart, they might have the kit there. It's about $6. You get a little bottle of the scrubbing liquid solution the razor blade, and also the scrubbing pad with a handle. Now, um, I used to buy the kit all the time, but since about a year or two ago, it's very hard to get your hands on it now. But now I just buy the bigger solution and just replacement blades. I never really used the sponge anyway, so I just go in with a dry paper towel. And, you know, I just went in and scraped it all off. And then I went in with the Spray Away glass cleaner and the aerosol can. I absolutely love the Spray Away can. It is on, you know, the more expensive side than it is 
you know, buying the regular Windex or store brand Windex. It works really, really good. It streaks free and all of that jazz. Now, a lot of people say that the the odor from it is kind of strong, but I don't mind it. But I just want to throw it out there. If you have a sensitive nose, I'm guessing it might be strong to you, but I absolutely love it. It works great. But here I am, like I said, moving everything off of my counters, getting the back walls and cleaning things that haven't been cleaned in a while. So let's get back into deep cleaning this kitchen. I feel so strange Thinking about you After all the wrong you've done to me I can't go on Feeling like I do Cause my heart loves you Don't waste my time Cause someone like me you'll never find I thought we had a good thing I was wrong Someone new Don't make me lose my mind Seems like I've been here before Baby, I can't take no more Of you trying to play me out Baby I was talking last time um the glass bottle oh my goodness i'm so sorry guys the glass bottle that i was using that sprays i bought that from target in the dollar spot uh not last year i did i bought it last year and it was for three dollars i absolutely love it it has the little you know stopper grip thing in the bottom so it's not gonna break when you put it down or anything like that and it's been going for like a year now and holding on strong I didn't think the nozzle sprayer would last that long because you know how sometimes when you pay for things on the cheaper side you know you get what you pay for type of deal but the trigger is working great it doesn't click or break or I haven't had to replace it or anything like that so if you ever see those at the target dollar spot I think they're well 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 worth the three dollars and if you have any questions about anything else that I might be using to clean please feel free to leave it down in the comments and the cleaner that I'm going to well not going the cleaner that is inside the glass spray bottle is pine sol and the lemon scent I think it smells so good I actually use that scent basically all year round. Sometimes I will switch it up and go with the regular smell of the pine sole, but I mostly use the lemon one, especially in the summer season. So I just want to quickly pop on and say that if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment box. And if you're liking this video so far, make sure you give it a big, huge thumbs up. So let's get back into it. We're going to scrub this sink down. <laughs>
have a question for everyone. Now, I am wondering, should I get rid of my Keurig K-Pod holder that's um, underneath my Keurig? I don't have any of the K-Pods. I actually just buy, you know, the ground up coffee and put it in the reusable K-Pod holder. But my thing here is it gives it height. So when you're looking into my kitchen, it kind of gives it like a, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like it'd be too low and too weird looking, but I think in next week's video, well, next week's video, I will show you guys what it looks like with the uh, K-Pod holder underneath it and what it looks like without it because next week's video, I'm going to be doing a decluttering of my kitchen as well. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But yeah, I've been literally for like a month now contemplating keeping it there or not keeping it there. So you got to let me know in the comments what you think on that, especially on next week's video. But I went in with the Sprayway glass cleaner on my outside door. I forgot to move the camera down when I was outside cleaning the um, glass, but that's what I went in with. And then I wiped down the door with my all-purpose cleaner, and I also did the little windows on the top with the Sprayway. And now here I am. I moved the dog food container and the dog food bowls out of the way so I could get in here and clean up the floor and the baseboard over here and yeah so yeah let's get into cleaning up these baseboards over here guys okay so I lied I figured since we're like 15 minutes into the video and I haven't introduced myself yet here I am so my name is Courtney and I'm 30 years old I'm a stay-at-home mom of two daughters one is 11 and one is three you will see my three-year-old pop in and out of the videos here and there I can't help it because you know what we live here um, my significant other Matt and I have been together for almost 13 years I have a dog her name is Astra and she'll be eight years old she's an American Pippi Pippi <laughs> American Pipple Terrier and we have been living in this house for almost two years. July will mark that for us. And I ask, I actually want to know, has anybody been keeping up with the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case? Now, I've been swallowed up into that case. Let me know what you guys think about it or you have no idea what I'm talking about or you're just plain, like plainly not into it at all. I don't know if you guys noticed on my laptop in the overview video and when I went to clean off the counter near my coffee maker that I had it playing there. I was watching this lovely, lovely lady. Her name is Emily D. Baker. That's the name of her channel if you guys want to catch up on to the case. She is a lawyer who does live reactions and breaks down what's going on in the courtroom and what everything means. She's absolutely awesome. Now, she does swear. Just so you guys know, if you're not into swearing, then um, don't watch her. Or, you know, if you don't want your kids to hear it, don't watch with them around so I just wanted to know if you guys are into the whole Johnny Depp and Amber case or not and if you have any more questions about you know who I am or anything like that please feel free to leave it down in the comments so let's go into finish deep cleaning up this kitchen table
So now that the table is nice and deep cleaned as well as the window, I just wanted to explain that the duster that I was using, I actually buy that from the Dollar Tree. You get two duster heads and one handle for a dollar, what is it now, a dollar twenty-five? Basically after tax, it's like a dollar thirty-four. And um, I'm not going in with my Bissell today, guys. I'm not going in with my Bissell Crosswave. I know you're probably shocked, just like I am. It actually has been a while since I used my O Cedar Mop. And when, like I said with my, um, in multiple videos that, you know, the Bissell Crosswave is absolutely awesome. Do not get me wrong. I love that thing. That's literally my everyday vacuum. But like I said in other videos, this won't replace my mop. It never will because it can't get underneath like the baseboards. And, you know, if I want to wash my walls or, you know, things like that, it can't get up and close to things like that. So figured today in this video, since I'm deep cleaning my kitchen, let me pull out my tried and true, you know, O Cedar mop. I will never get rid of that thing. I absolutely love it. So that's what I'm using today. And the solution I'm using in there is the pine sole as well and the lemon scent. My kitchen smelled so good, guys. I absolutely love when I deep clean an area of my house. It just makes my house feel so like new and fresh and clean, even though it's not new and it's cluttered. But, you know, whatever. It still feels great to have it done. But anyways, here I am in my exposed pantry area here. You know, my, my house is very small. It's only a thousand square feet. That's all I'm getting. So, you know, I'm working with what I have. And this, you know, little setup I've had here for almost a year now. And it works great. But, you know, don't get me wrong. Do I wish I had an actual pantry? Yes. But is this working out and it doesn't bother me at all? Yeah, it works great. And it doesn't bother me really. It doesn't at all actually. But anyways <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that you know i'm just talking and talking and talking but let's get into finishing up cleaning and dusting off this exposed pantry because i honestly haven't dusted it in goodness i don't even know how long especially the shelves on the wall but 
oh my goodness i keep talking i'm sorry guys i just want to talk to you but <laughs> let's get back into this Okay, so I'm going in with the Wyman stainless steel wipes. I absolutely love these wipes. And like I say in every video, when you are using these, they do look a little, your stainless steel does look a little foggy at first, but if you give it a minute, it will dry up. But if you're impatient sometimes, like I am, go in with a dry microfiber cloth and or a paper towel, but I recommend the cloth instead and buff that right out. It will come right shiny right then and there when you do it. Or you can just wait but here I am going in on my bottom cabinets now I was gonna do my top cabinets as well but I was like I just cleaned my countertops and all of that and you know when stuff from up top falls to the bottom and I didn't want to have to wipe down my countertops again so don't come after me that's why I didn't do it and also don't come after me for this I forgot to hit record I'm guessing when I did the first section of my kitchen as you can see there it's all wet and you know there's dog footprints and now my toddler thinks it's funny to walk through it and scream wet feet um, as she's doing it so <laughs> yeah I did do the other half you could tell kind of there but I'm not going to be moving a lot of stuff around you know on the left side of my kitchen because I already had moved everything and mopped underneath it but basically this is the end of the video I'm gonna do my little show of everything all nice and clean and if you want a super motivating deep cleaning video I do have a spring kitchen deep clean where I actually move everything scrub down walls and all of that so but I wanted to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come over here and watch my video you didn't have to but you did anyways and I truly truly appreciate it make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on any more content until then guys bye Thank you.